Hi, this is Damien from DC Diagnostic Solutions. Today we're going to be testing an exhaust gas differential pressure sensor on a 2013 Ford BMAX. The purpose of the differential pressure sensor is to measure the pressure difference across the diesel particle filter. The particle filter stores soot particles from the exhaust gas to be regenerated under certain operating conditions when exhaust gas temperature allows the regeneration to take place. The pressure sensor on most vehicles has two sampling pipes, one upstream of the particle filter and one downstream of the particle filter and a differential pressure is measured across the filter element. They have a three, a three wire block connector with a 5 volt supply, a signal and a ground. This particular variant doesn't have the second hose for downstream of the particle filter. For simplicity I've drawn a system that has both an upstream and a downstream hose. We can see the exhaust gas come from the engine through the diesel oxidization cat out to the diesel particle filter. The path for the exhaust gas is blocked with alternate channels in the particle filter which forces the exhaust gas through the porous walls of the filter to deposit the soot particles. We now focus on the pressure sensor. We have a 5 volt supply from the ECU a ground and a signal wire. It's a piezo resistive element which means as the membrane distorts the resistance of the, the membrane alters. This voltage is sent to a processor within the sensor and set to a, a nominal voltage of 0.8 of a volt with the key on. No pressure difference across the element. If we increase the pressure upstream of the of the sensor to 50 kilopascals we see a voltage of three uh, of three volts on the signal wire a very good way of testing this is using a vacuum gauge so we've disconnected the hose from the from the, the particle filter housing and we've connected on a pipe so we're now looking at live data here on the scan tool so I have barometric pressure here which is reading 97 kilopascals we have exhaust gas differential pressure reading zero kilopascals and we see our voltage is actually at 0.44 of a volt that's our nominal voltage on this on this particular sensor i've also connected up the oscilloscope and we see that we have the half a volt there that's the the 0.44 nominal voltage that we see on the the signal wire i'm now going to apply a pressure to the sensor I'm going to apply a pressure of approximately 50 kilopascals, which is about 7, 7 or 8 psi on this gauge. We see that we have our oscilloscope connected to the, to the signal wire. If we now look at our oscilloscope pattern, we have just over 3 volts on the signal wire. Moving across to our live data, which is done through serial communication, we see that we have 3.4 volts is what the ECU is interpreting that pressure increase as. And we see that our differential pressure is actually 57 kilopascals. Obviously our barometric pressure is only for reference at 97 kilopascals. The exhaust gas pressure, uh, differential pressure reading on, the, on live data is taking atmospheric pressure to be 0 kilopascals. So that's referred to as gauge pressure as opposed to absolute pressure. This is a very quick and easy test that can diagnose whether there's a fault with the differential pressure sensor or not. We'll now reduce the pressure and we see on the oscilloscope pattern our voltage dropping back down to about half a volt as we see on live data here as well 0.44 of a volt and we see that our differential pressure on live data is back down to zero kilopascals. This is referred to as serial and parallel diagnostics. Serial, parallel, serial diagnostics is through the data link connector with the scan tool and our parallel diagnostics is testing the sensor, back probing it using the oscilloscope. I hope this has been an informative tutorial for you.